guys, it's Miss M back with another video. And today we are stepping away from social studies. We are stepping away from math videos. And I'm bringing you a reading uh, video. And today you will be watching a couple different videos on theme. But before we get into those videos, you need to understand exactly what theme is, where we can find it, what makes themes very different from main idea, and also know a few little tips and tricks to determine the actual theme of whatever it is that we are reading or watching. So theme can be in a story, a play, a poem, videos, whatever it is, even songs all have theme. And theme usually has a central message, which is our moral of the story, that the characters tend to learn at the end of the story, play, poem, whatever it is that we are reading, watching, whatever it is. And <clears throat> theme is always written in full sentences. The names of the characters will never be present in the sentences. So for example, if let's say that the theme of this story is jealousy, not to be jealous or something, we can determine that theme and we can write it saying the theme of the story is how not to be jealous and why jealousy is such a bad thing. No characters' names were brought up. There was no explanation, no evidence, no reasons as to why jealousy is such a bad thing. It just states that the theme of the story is jealousy can really get us into some trouble. Jealousy is not always a good thing, whatever the, it is. And so, for example, we have some Aesop's fables and Casey at the Bat. We read a bunch of different fables and we did Casey at the Bat, which did have a theme to it. <clears throat> now, the hardest part to really figure out theme is how to determine what the theme is. And you'll watch a video after this video to help you kind of figure out some clues and ways to kind of nitpick at it. But it's important to know that with theme, you want to kind of, you have to really pay attention to the story. Um, you want to figure out and you want to take note of how the character is acting at the beginning of the story, what big events happen that could, could change the character's mind or change them physically or mentally, whatever it is, and kind of compare that character from the beginning of the story to the end of the story and see how have they changed as a person or even if it's in a song, how the author, the singer felt at the beginning to the end of the song. See if there's something that kind of happened that changed and kind of made that character, that singer, that person realize whatever the theme is. Now, we talked about theme. There's many different themes. There's resp taking responsibility. There's greed versus um being greedy, good versus evil, being loyal, all of those are different kinds of themes that we see. And your job is this week is that you're going to be watching a couple of videos uh, tomorrow and you've got to kind of determine the theme on your own. Now there is really no right or wrong answer because everyone interprets the stories, the songs, the plays very differently. But with theme, there can usually be one big theme and there might be a little bit more other themes there but there's usually one big central theme that the author really wants to convey which means to tell us so it's our job to be really smart and really observant readers and for us to figure out what exactly is this author trying to tell us so that's what theme is and theme is different from main idea because remember main idea is the entire point what was the whole point of the passage the story the video what was the point of it what was the reason why the author the videographer made or wrote or created this video this reading what was the point of it what is the takeaway that we need to know theme is what is the central message moral of this story that we need to realize that the characters learned Remember, theme is written in a full sentence. It's not just a one word answer. You don't just say, what's the theme of the story? Jealousy. No, 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 no. <laughs> the theme of the story is jealousy and how jealousy can turn a friendship upside down or something of that, depending on how the story goes. All right. That central message, that moral is, plays a big part. That is the big difference between main idea and theme and inferencing and every little skill that we've learned is that theme has that moral. Main idea is the entire 
what the entire point was. Inferencing is using our context clues and our evidence in the story to help us determine what could happen, okay? Theme is very different. Theme is a kind of a bit of a struggle. It's a kind of a harder challenge for us to determine. But if you pay very close attention to how the characters are acting, what big event happened that kind of changed or made that character be that way, and watch them progress and change throughout the story, or if something big happened, if we're talking about Aesop's fables with animals, what happened and kind of determining really what the end of the the story, how it ended and how, what the moral was. We read two fables in our fable writing. We learned about how teamwork was really important with the elephant and the golden fruit and the monkey and the ants all jumping in the glass bottle. We learned all about teamwork in there and that was the whole point of those two fables was about teamwork, okay? Casey at the bat, its theme was to really don't be cocky. That was kind of the big thing. You gotta play the game. Casey was a little cocky and he struck out at a very big game. So we could say that the theme of the Casey at the bat is to be level-headed and not to think you're such some big superstar. Okay, because Casey learned that he struck out and he lost the game for the Mudville Nine. All right, so go ahead guys, copy down these bullets so that way you know what theme is and that way you can be able to do today's assignment and watch those videos, take some notes on those videos and it'll tell you a little bit more how to determine the theme of a story, a play, a poem, a video, a song, whatever it is. Exactly a little bit more about what theme is and then tomorrow you'll be listening to some songs to determine theme and watching a video or two about theme and determine this theme. All right, guys, this was just a quick little reading video about theme. Until the next video, bye, guys.